Glasgow Fire, building is part of the fabric of the city. Glaswegians are coming to terms with the fact that one of their most famous buildings has, once again, been ravaged by a fire. Local MP Alison Thulis said she was devastated adding the Glasgow School of Art was part of the fabric of the city. Scottish Secretary David Mundell said the UK government was ready to help. Comedian Susan Kalman sent her thoughts to the school's students and staff as well as the fire service. Maria Papanitsio, a researcher at Glasgow University, lives around the corner from the building. She was sitting in her living room when she saw the flames through a window, I went down to the street and was there for at least two hours, she said. Maria was not the only one, others had come to watch, including clubbers who had been evacuated from nearby buildings. Everyone was very sad, she says, one guy was even crying. Maria has lived in the area since 2013. I've watched as the restoration went up, and now it's come down, she says. Confused and shocked. Artist Taco Tal was in the school student union bar when the fire broke out. We saw people coming in and out saying there was a small fire, she said. You could smell smoke coming in. There were already two firemen on the scene and we were moved away really quickly. Everyone was confused and shocked. I've never seen a fire this large before. The firefighters were really great, she added. Artist and TV presenter Lachlan Gowdy said he was horrified by the ravaging of the building describing it as a terrible bereavement. This building was part of Glasgow's soul, a visual expression of Scottish creativity at its peak, he said. To see it devastated once was horrendous, to see it assaulted by the flames a second time is gut-wrenching. Overwhelming. Louise Rowley studied at the school and was traveling back to the city for the first time since graduating. During her time there she worked as a tour guide for the building. The whole building is overwhelming, she says. The Henrum is a beautiful glass room at the back of the building, uniting the east and west wings, somewhere to get inspiration. It's so well thought about and so inspirational. Ms. Thulis said she was absolutely devastated by the news describing the building as part of the fabric of the city. It is something we hold very dear, she added. She said a lot of skill and talent had gone into the restoration work. It's a real blow to see the damage done last night, she said. She also sent out a plea for any support that could be given. Mr. Mundell said the UK government was committed to ensuring this iconic building will be restored if it can be. He said the way Glaswegians felt about the Glasgow School of Art was equivalent to how Londoners felt about Big Ben. People feel an association with the building even if they have never crossed its threshold, comedian and Strictly Come Dancing contestant Kalman said, thinking of staff. Students, Alan Yen, the wonderful emergency services who, as always, fought to save such a treasure. Just awful. Travis singer Fran Healy said he could not believe the building was on fire again. And artist Alison Watt, herself an alumni of the school, said her heart was breaking, 